Who's not binge watching these days? It's kind of a nice escape from reality, right? But if you're in the mood for something spooky, entertainment reporter Kelly Gillespie joining us with a look at what's streaming. Kelly, it's so good to see you. Great seeing you too. And you know, one of my all time favorite comedians is Adam Sandler. I love his silly humor. It's such a nice release. And so I was thrilled to see that he gathered all of his friends. We love seeing Kevin James, Ben Stiller, Maya Rudolph, Tim Meadows in his new film for Netflix. It debuts today. It's called Hubie Hall Halloween. And I got a chance to talk with him about it. We're gonna do every October 31st. Make sure every she to she she protect you. Trick or treating me in many states but halloween doesn't have to be and so what better way to spend it than with you it's exciting i love halloween i've always loved halloween since i'm a kid i'm sure you you do too it's just a fun holiday i love that it's always a family affair with you i mean i, I love always looking for where your wife jackie is and in yeah. this film in this film your daughters play yeah. julie bones on screen daughters yeah yeah, so yeah what's the biggest blessing for you to get to work with your family well, you know, these movies take a long time. And uh, when you, you shoot it, I, I, my family comes along all the time. We have fun together. But getting to be on the set and my kids having to hang out with me for a few days where they're not allowed to leave, that's fun. That's fun. I like how, holding them prisoner. Yeah, and I have to say, I laughed so hard. It definitely delivers your signature comedy, but thank it's you. Goofy. Thank you, thank you. It is extra, extra goofy, I know it is. There's so many rich themes, too. I love how you incorporate bullying and bravery and, you know, continuing to be kind even when others are spewing hate. Why, right. why is this important to you? I guess having kids and and making sure, I, I, you know, you, you, just, you just want kids to be good to each other and... Uh, and you want grown-ups to be good to each other. It's never, it's not never a guarantee, but it's a nice little, it's a goofy movie, but it's a nice reminder at the end to try to do the right thing. But the truth is, we're all just one connection away from something incredible. I had no idea that this was Jorge from the Bacardi Rum family. Him and his wife invited the two of you over for dinner so that you could meet. Already, you read the script, it's it's really inspiring and all that. and and. You do some research on him and it's amazing, but meeting him and, and hearing firsthand all the challenges that he had to go through and, and uh, how they stuck together, whatever happened, it was, it was fantastic. It was really a blessing. Leslie read on paper like a kind of a supportive wife character and then I sort of had an inkling that she was a bit more spirited than that. And when I met her in person, oh my God, she's like a real force of nature, you know. So I think my instinct was to try and bring some of that to just the energy of, of the character. Miracles can and still do happen. And I feel like, especially right now, as many of us are still quarantined and, um, you know, trying to navigate this new normal. I think this film, you know, kind of provides a little bit of an escape for people in a very um, trying time in our world um but i also think the movie can leave people feeling you know a little bit more hopeful and, and a little bit more you know love and i think it's also a really good reminder to hug the people that you love because you don't ever want to take a moment for granted so interesting two hearts based on a true story about the bacardi rum family that's fascinating yeah, and you know what? I think it's something that right now it will tell us that there is a bigger picture, a bigger plan. So if you're, you know, kind of worried about what's going on with COVID or your family's, you know, a little frustrated, there will be a better goodness for it all. And I don't know if you if you're a Riverdale fan, of course, oh, yeah. SCW are. Yeah, that was Tiara. And I talked to her about, you know, we're supposed to get a new season, season five here in January. Will it happen? And she said she's in um, Canada right now wrapping up production on something else but this week she'll head back to um the states to shoot so hopefully it'll be on time that would be great to be able to see her some more and uh kelly it's so good to see you we do want to talk real quick if we could about kathy Lee gifford what is she up to well, since she left today, she said she wanted to pursue other passions. And so she just recently wrote and produced and stars in a new film called Then Came You. It's on demand right now. And of, of her, her co-star, of course, we all know him from talk show two, Craig Ferguson. And it's just kind of a fun romantic comedy that everyone can enjoy.
She's so talented. I'm glad that she's back. Uh, we can definitely enjoy her these days. I mean, I'm literally watching shows over and over again. <laughs> so. Any new content is good content. Oh, of course. <laughs> Kelly, thank you so much. Good to see you this morning.